Hello and welcome to the Law and You on Vanguard Live. I am Onosre Dania. Today we'll be looking at the crisis rocking the MBA over the 2020, uh, 2020 um, election, elections. It has been um, almost 15 days after the conclusion of the Nigeria Bar Association 2020 election in which Mr. Olivide Akwata was declared the winner. However, there have been divided opinions about the credibility of the elections. Why some say the election was conducted in a transparent and uh, manner, other members of the local profession are saying that the election was marred by, by fraud. There are apprehensions that the NBA may break up if um, the alleged electoral fallout is not addressed. These allegations no doubt have um, serious implications for the collective honor and integrity of members of the um, Nigerian Bar Association and the entire profession in Nigeria. To address this issue, joining me via Zoom is um, the, a former Vice President of the Nigerian Bar Association, Mr. Monde Obani. Mr. Obani, welcome to the program. Yeah, thank you, Jay. Thank you for having me. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Okay, were you able to um, vote during the um, MBA elections? Yes, I I participated in the electoral process of 2020, and uh, in my view, uh, this was the easiest in terms of uh, voting. I mean, we have uh, had elections previously, e-voting uh, previously. This is, I think, the third one. Uh, the other two previous, we had issues with issue of aggregation and voting process. Uh, it used to be too cumbersome. Uh, but this one, uh, the, the voting process was so easy. And uh, under a few seconds, I had already completed uh, my vote uh, process. And I was so happy uh, with that uh, 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 result. I mean, in terms of uh, there was no issues at all. I just uh, put in my uh, Supreme Court enrollment number. Uh, my name appeared, and then from there, the candidate's name, and you take cross check, and then submit, and then they, they, they receive a notification that you have successful. So it was so easy, and so, so many others also experienced such an uh, uh, easy way of uh, carrying the uh, electoral responsibility. Mm -hmm. But um, you are saying now that you didn't have um, any issues, you didn't experience any um, difficulties during um, the voting process. But there are a lot of people who said that um, they, experienced, they had a lot of issues, they could not cast their votes. I don't know, how were you able to um, do your own without any issues with um, the computer? With well, the idea was that you receive a code and with that code you'll be able to log in to vote. So I received my code as an when you. Uh, I'm yet to get to know any particular person who I have personal relationship with that never received his own code, who was actually a verified voter. But I understand that there are some persons who waited for their own code to arrive and they never did. But I don't have any person that I know that actually had such a similar issue. The only persons I know that had issue are those whose names do not appear at, at, the, at, the, at the final voters list. In other words, they were qualified to vote. They paid their annual practicing fee. They paid their brand dues. And so they were supposed to be voted, I mean, to vote or be voted for. And the last list, voters, their names appear before the, the final list was compiled by the electoral committee. But at the Final voters list. Don't doubt that some of their names were not included. There's one of my lawyer who works who works for me here in the law firm. His name was not included. Uh, but I, I heard that other complaints like that you know, across board of those who, who were qualified, but their name eventually did not uh, 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 you know, come out during the final uh, uh, voters list. And also of those whose name came out at the final voters list, but they were not. Uh, able to get the code uh, for the purposes of voting during the election. So what, what could be ex uh, responsible for that? Well, it is for the uh, electoral committee to explain, you know, the, the, the infrastructural thing in Nigeria is still at the rudimentary state. I mean, talking about uh, the technological infrastructure, we are still grappling 
uh, with some of the primitive ways things have been done even before now, and things have not actually improved with our education, with our technology, with our internet. So it could be as a result of the fact that the internet may not have had the capacity to carry the number of uh, candidates that we are actually verified who we are now supposed to vote. So that could have accounted for that. It had, you know, but as I said, there are those who received their code and those whose names were on the final voters list had it so easy uh, in the voting process. It was so when you uh, slot in their code, they didn't have access to vote. It wasn't any, uh, there was no problem whatsoever. Okay, so how would you um, assess the election? Was it credible? Well, the credibility uh, we stem from uh, uh, the, the processes. Uh, my my take is that uh, this year we had over under sixteen thousand voters, whereas the verified voters uh, list we are up to twenty nine. You know, so you now ask why we are those other people who were qualified? Why were they not uh, allowed? I mean, why did they vote? It could be that people did not take this particular responsibility seriously. Some other people did not take it serious in order to carry out their primary responsibility. That could have accounted for that. Or could it be that most of them didn't get their code we are as much as over other 13 or 14,000 uh, voters. So, uh, but the general feeling this year, and I must be very sincere about it, is that uh, a lot of people uh, you know, had it so simple in the voting process. There were issues. But issues with the issue of uh, creating a, a branch they call diaspora, uh, diaspora branch. And so they, they also complained that there are some branches that submitted enough, uh, I mean, numbers of uh, voters did not get those requisite number of voters when the final voter was compiled. In other words, they, 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 they had a reduction. And so that a reduction was not completely explained. Why do you have to reduce the number of voters you know, in my branch if? They were all entitled to vote. In other words, they have paid their price views and they have paid their annual partisan fee. So, where were they not uh, uh, counted as the final uh, list you know, in the voters? List. So, these are some of the issues. But, issue of uh, feeling within the constituency that this year's election uh, clearly an improvement you know, uh, uh, over the previous uh, electoral uh, uh, voting system we have uh, used in MA. This is election was a bit a bit better a bit better than the previous one. I am not saying that there were no issues. Those issues are issues we can address and correct. You know? And I'm very happy that people are trying to raise issues concerning some of those anomalies that were discovered during the electoral process so that we can correct them in a in right, you know, in the MBA with this kind of electoral system that is e voting system that we have used we are used we have used as a pattern. We can borrow it to the nation because when the election was going on, we were all watching how the results were coming in and what are the percentage cost of each candidate that participated. We know it was a bit transparent in the sense that it's not after the election the results were not, but we are keen enough to know who is actually leading and who is actually you know, trailing behind. So, such things I think that are worthy of emulation we can lend to the nation and other people get it right in perfecting some of those anomalies and some of these anomalies we have actually even you know, found out during the process you know, and they point it out and correct it because the most important thing is to correct those are uh, anomalies that we have noticed and when we correct them and it become a perfect system you can now tell the nation that he has perfected the electoral system we can now ask the nation to borrow from us and all that to me uh it, it's, it's, it's an improvement you know uh, from the previous elections okay talking about the um, diaspora the lawyers in diaspora there's uh, there were there were 86 of them were their votes counted in this election? Yes, I think, I think, I think if, if they created such a, a, a branch in diaspora, and I'm sure they would have participated in the electoral process, but what, what I, I saw as an anomaly in, in it is that most of those who are in diaspora, they all belong to branches before they left. So one would have expected that they would be assigned to a branch rather than probably you know, bring them out and creating a branch because our constitution, our bylaw does not recognize any, any branch in diaspora. Rather, our constitution recognizes that the one rank with six branches are in our constitution. So, having such a particular decent may have been an issue. They all belong to a branch and they pay their parties and branch dues to a particular branch. So, the best thing to have done, to have pushed up to have done in the circumstance, was to assign them to those branches where they were before they traveled abroad, rather than fabricating 
a special branch for them, which is clearly uh, contrary to the provisions of our uh, bylaw. Okay, what's your view on uh, Dele Adeshino SAN and the Egbe Amofi's allegation that there were uh, 4,000 ghost voters in uh, the just concluded election of the NBA? I have not verified the, the allegation, uh, so I will not be in a position to actually affirm or, or deny the such allegation because this is an electoral, electoral system that uses electronic uh, method. Uh, so if anyone is making an allegation of such a huge number of people who are opposed, uh, voters, then that has to be done with uh, proof, you know, proof of how that happened, just like it do at the previous election where you know, people's uh, uh, email were used to vote and they were cloned or whatever. And EFCC investigated and found out that there was such, you know, uh, an act. And, 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 I, and I think they, 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 they said it that, but this one, if you are alleging that up to 4,000 votes uh, are put that participated in the electoral process, there must be evidence of proof. Uh, so, my answer to that question is that I'm not in a position to affirm or deny their assertion. Spending the time that, that you will be an expert uh, opinion or expert who will give us a correct perspective, you know, then with evidence of how those uh, 4,000 voters uh, might. So that, that again, you go a long way in solving out, uh, in clearing, clearing doubt in the minds of anyone who is making the allegation or who is refuting the allegation. Okay. While the election was going on, uh, Adeshino asked um, that the election should be cancelled. If Adeshino had uh, won this election with all the allegations that um, he has pointed out, in your view, do you think he would have uh, asked that the election should be cancelled if he had won? <laughs> you asked me to play God. I don't know, Mr. Adeshino, as my, what he would have uh, actually done if he is the one that uh, probably did it. Whether it would be possible for him to ask for cancelled. Selection. But if you're asking me whether I, if I'm winning an election, whether okay. I have to be in a position to ask for cancellation of election, I will answer no. If I'm the one leading, despite all anomalies in the system, despite all the abnormalities I observe, if I'm the one leading, uh, why would I really want to ask for cancellation of election that I'm leading? Of course, if you remember vividly that even in additional uh, San uh, like he pointed out that Mr. Odumida Akwata uh, wrote. He was even the first person to, to write, complaining about the electoral process and then, you know, suggesting that things should be done to, to actually create some level of confidence and transparency in the system. So Akwata wrote also, and I'm sure, I'm too sure that if Akwata was on the losing side, I'm sure he would have also he would have been doing what probably uh, Mr. Adesina is doing in this account time. But I also say, look, I wrote, and then I was not given a, 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 an answer that was very satisfactory. So what Mr. Adesina is doing, Loss, even I know that, like, I, I, I practically, humanly speaking, uh, for him, act for the translation of a uh, yeah, small. And we, it's only God that can do such a thing, it's only God or that can do such a thing. Not even moving the spawn of a woman that by living in an electoral process, then you ask for the translation. As I'm not so as actually uh, taking also uh, glory in the electoral process, he has he complained about, he was the first person to write. Are there even two? Concerning his uh, constant about the electoral process that it wasn't transparent and I think that's supposed to be corrected. But he has won, so it would be very impossible to think whether he would have uh, probably applied for the election to put aside. No, I don't think I won't think he would do that. He's only God that would do that. Okay. Some people are calling that um, if uh, Apata re really wants to be a good uh, leader, that he should call for a rerun of the elections. And how how can how will you, how what's your take on that? Should he call for a rerun of the elections? No, no, no. What well, is with what? Is it with the same uh, problem? You know, yes, because, because of the because of the problems that are being pointed out. They are saying that yes. he should call for a rerun of the elections to show that to show a good example of uh, leadership. <laughs> Well, I don't know whether, whether I, can, I can answer that question, but I think that uh, this election, if you cancel it and ask for a rerun, 
with the feelings and uh, I, I gather from the constituency, I tell you that the young ones actually uh, uh, made a difference in the electoral process of 2020. They are clearly the majority, and they felt that the senior advocates of Nigeria over time have actually occupied the leadership position of MB, and they may not have gotten what they expect from MB as a body. In terms of welfare of lawyers, especially the ones, in terms of MB being there to speak on the helpless people in the society. So there is this particular feeling uh, that MB has not actually lived up to expectation to the general aspiration of that membership. So, uh, coupled with the fact that there was a memo uh, written by uh, our Chief Awomoro, a very foremost advocate of Nigeria, where he actually uh, uh, sought the support of the senior advocates of Nigeria in the bar to ensure that leadership of the bar does not in any way slip out of their uh, their, 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 their grab. And so that later you know, lead to the constituency. And a lot of people that didn't make up their mind actually as to who they will vote for made up their mind. So it's like this thing has been on like this that even though constitutionally speaking, there is no requirement that it must be a senior advocate of Nigeria before you become the president of the bar. That they have this feeling that oh, it must be a senior advocate. And for that purpose, leadership of the bar is naturally and inherently there. So they now made up their mind that it is high time they tell the senior advocates of Nigeria that leadership of the bar is not actually a preserve or preserve for them. And they now put on the protest vote. So the actual thing is that if we conduct this election as many times as possible by cancelling it or not. It may not be that if we win with that I imagine, but I can tell you that the Uruguay Pata will still imagine that because the general feeling among the consequences uh, the legal consequences that uh, it's time now to try a non-senior advocate of Nigeria to be the president of the Nigerian Bar Association. So the feeling hasn't changed, and the feeling will not even change even after you have cancelled an act wrong. And that is my view. And I am a person that is more realistic. I'm a member of the Kedah branch of the Bar, and I and I saw what was going on on the social media. I saw that even people who are not you know, lawyers who are very much interested in the Bar Association because of the way. The, 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 the campaign actually played out in the social media. Most of the things you have done practically in the social media you know, on all social media, all the platforms that I know. And uh, the leadings and the somebody was clearly the lead in most of the, uh, 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 the the issue of people's opinion, opinion who you know, carried out in almost all the social media show that our father was, was actually in the leading you know, before the election program. And so my it is actually the young ones that actually made the entire difference this year in our electoral process. And if you ask this election to be cancelled and ask for a run, it may, may, many others who didn't even vote for him also change their mind and say, let's give our father this opportunity as a non senior advocate of Nigeria to give us some kind of leadership we think that we should get in the NBA. It may not turn out to be that he's going to be the best uh, president, but there is this feeling that let's try a non senior advocate of Nigeria as a NBA president. That is actually. The, the, the readings I, I got from the, from, the, from the feelings I got from the constituents. Okay, so I there is a question here that somebody is asking. Say, this is basically the problem with Nigeria. If lawyers, as learned as they are, cannot conduct an election without rancor within their association, would would uh, would is is it be uh, would be possible to? Conduct a free and fair, a, a fair, acceptable election in Nigeria as a country. That's what the person is saying is that um, uh, um, that if the NBA cannot conduct uh, conduct an election well, that would they be able to conduct election in Nigeria that that would be free and fair? I, I think it, it, it may not be the way it's been painted. You know, election was, was conducted by MP. Uh, the only problem is that just like everything woman, there are some certain flaws that we observe, and we also feel that we can actually carry out some reforms on that. And as they, they, for the person who asked that question, may I tell that individual that if before now there has been an issue because we just you know, uh, uh, moved into the. And we experienced some hiccups along the way. 
But we have already done now with two elections that have taken place electronically. We have seen that this third one, we experienced some level improvement, which is what I said that some of those that normally is also observed in this year's election. By next year's by by two years' time, we will uh, make an improvement on that. And so it is not as if better. And then let us not also assume that Mayans are people who live in the mass or who are not part of the state. We all live here. We have our, our idiosyncrasies. We are all Nigerians too. There may be issues also with the, the electronic system and all that. So it is for us to look at those things that we are not putting right in our electoral process and correct them. And so let it not be that we are being painted uh, uh, dark or black, that you know, we didn't we can't be able to conduct. No, we conduct an election. Draw that we are some observable anomalies which I see that can uh, and I'm, I'm also very optimistic that can be put upon in the subsequent election in order to get it right. So it wasn't as bad as being painted. And it we must also not assume that lawyers are not a uh, man they are from mass. You know they live here on earth and they are part of our system. Okay. Is it legal for another association to be formed in the NBA? As, um, it, as as people who are not happy with the outcome of uh, the election, as members who are not happy with the outcome of the elections are uh, saying that they might um, form another uh, association within the NBA, is it legal for them to do that? It's not legal. It's not legal and it's for absolutely an, an, an anomaly uh, for anyone to begin to contemplate because that would be an end to it. So in other words, they form this new association and tomorrow there, there arise a problem, there arise a disagreement, there arise you know, some of the crises now we are, we are not discussing. Then you now go and form another association of uh, Nigerian Bar Association, which uh, to me it, is not something that uh, is even feasible in the first place. Are you not going to register it to the Corporate Affairs Commission? And if you want to register another association of loyalty, different from the one that is already registered. I doubt whether I see it will even give approval in the first place. And so the only association today that recognize, you know, who, which is an umbrella of lawyers all over the country is Nigerian Bar Association. So anyone contemplating to, you know, starting a new association have to actually look at the, the legal implication because there are going to be a lot of model and it may not be an easy thing to, to cross, you know, and all that for them. So registering it is going to be a problem. So and operating an illegal uh, an organization is uh, something that can put you into into uh, 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 criminal prosecution. So I don't think it's impressive for anyone to. And then, as I said, there is something mean, meaning that there will be an end. Any time that is disagreement, even in the new one you are formed, the next time that you, you know you form a split type group and form another association and all that, there must be an end to all that. I think that the best thing we can do is to actually ask for reforms. Is to actually ask for improvement. Is actually also you know, to elect, elect leaders who understand the yearnings and aspirations of the bar and what lawyers are supposed to get and what lawyers are supposed to you know enjoy as members of the bar and then what the bar is supposed to you know, understand its responsibility both to the society and to the members of the bar is getting the kind of right to right leadership which is also what is actually uh, 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 set in this country in terms of having good government. This issue of leadership deficiency. When we don't have it right, everyone gets is prone to that want to public split the country. Uh, you know, you talk about uh, all the people are your group, and then the their friends and all that. That's not how to, you know, run a nation. If you have an issue, let's all come together. Get the kind of kind of leadership we all deserve that will put the country right. Same thing with NBA. I don't believe in this division. I don't believe in any split type. Of, I don't believe in forming another position of the bar. That is clearly, to me, is wrong. It is not something that is altruistic. It's something that is done with, you know, with, with showing frustration and an anger that is clearly unnecessary. We can ask for an improvement in the system, and that improvement can be done. We must have that to get our, our bar working for all of us and all that. It doesn't mean that we lose election, then the next thing that you ask for a splinter group and all that. That won't be an end to it because that group before can also have an issue tomorrow. Then you now form another association. There must be an end to all that. So that that's my review. I believe in reforms. I don't believe in split that is split that group. Okay. The electoral committee of the NBA said um, the election conducted was uh, um, what conducted was okay, but that but it wasn't rigged. I I don't know. I don't know um, how you can um, respond to that. 
that it was perfect that it was perfect but it that it wasn't rigged you know there were allegations that the elections was rigged that that's why Abaka won so well, the uh, Nash, uh, electoral committee is now saying that the election wasn't perfect but that it wasn't rigged rigged okay yes. yeah I, I, I mean that is a view to be to be very uh, uh, surprising or miraculous for an uh, electoral body that conduct an election to come out openly and say, oh, yes, election was rigged. But, you know, uh, that, you know, we didn't get it right. No. They have to defend what they have done. But it's also very important we, we understand what they have said concerning this electoral election. They said it was not perfect. Yes. That again, to me, is admission that it, there is room for improvement. You know, I, I, want, I, I, I would have been, I would have been uh, very angry with them if they say, oh, it was a very perfect election, there were no issues at all. But for them to come out openly to say, yes, we did our best, but that the election itself was not real, but that it was not a perfect election because there are some issues they themselves also observe because of certain, certain, certain reasons. You know, so I, 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 I did not, uh, I'm not averse to that particular response. I don't see anything wrong with what they have said with the, uh, the election. It would be very, very surprising for anybody that conduct election to come out openly. So the election that we conducted was very, very bad. It's only President Yeradua, who won an election in Nigeria, came out to say that the election that brought in him was mad. You know, was clearly flawed. It's only such a man that is so honest, you know, in this country to have said that. But I doubt whether any other party or any other person in Nigeria will ever agree that the election that brought him to power is a flawed election. So I wasn't surprised with that response. Mr. Wani, thank you for coming on the show, sir. We would like it's to have pleasure. you. Honestly, I'm very happy with the program like this. I, I, I'm looking forward to the day that uh, this Vanguard uh, television will come on DSTV uh, so that we can also be part and parcel of it. But this initiative, I never knew that it does exist. And I'm so happy that Jane, my lovely sister, is the president that we knew about this. And I hope I have satisfied you in your Yes, you did, sir. The questions put across to me. Yes, you did. Thank you very much for coming. And we'll, like, we'll still have you on the program next time. That would be, that would be my pleasure. I'll be very rest assured that I'll be willing to do all that for you. Okay, sir. Thank you so much. And that's, what we ha and that's all we have for you today. Thanks for watching. And see you next time.